Hello friends, there's a recent feature added to Tahoma 2D that I'd like to tell you about today. And for those who don't know, Tahoma 2D is a forked development of OpenTunes, so it has all the features of OpenTunes, but is presented a little more simply. And it has additional features of its own, including this one I'm showing you today. And I've got download details for it in the description. But today's new feature I'd like to show you is the new ability to draw lines on a level in one column and then to add your fills to a different level in another column, mostly from users that are used to this feature in other drawing software. Now personally I wouldn't use this technique for animation as you'd have to be sure to keep the timing of the drawings for your lines and fill columns in sync with each other, but you might find this useful. And for backgrounds and static drawings, I think this could be really useful. So last week I showed you how to get hold of the build with this feature in, so do take a look at that if you missed it, and I'll have a link to the actual pull request in the description. So here's how it works. You simply draw your line art in one or more columns, as I've done here. So if I turn them all off, you can see at the bottom I've got a box at the bottom of the screen, one to the left, one to the right, all drawn on a vector level and a couple of lines drawn in a tunes raster level. And your lines can be drawn in any level type in any number of columns, but it's only the lines that are visible that make a difference to the filling. So then you create a raster or smart raster level in another column for the fills, and you currently can't use a vector level for the fills. And here's a quick tip for you. I think it's really helpful to use the buttons on the toolbar, that's these three here, to create new levels, and then you know exactly which level type you've created. So I'll create a new smart raster level. And I'll move this fill column to the back so that the lines are in front of the fills, and this will show up what we're doing a lot easier. And now to add your fill on this new level, but using the lines from the other levels, just make sure they're visible. Then choose the bucket fill tool, as I've done here, and I'm using the normal fill type, where I can just click to fill, but the others work just as well. And then tick Refer Visible on the Options toolbar. And let's add a new colour. And now when you fill, it'll fill between the lines. And if you find that your fill struggles to fill into the anti-aliased areas, or into any other areas of the screen, just increase your fill depth option here on the toolbar. And then undo your fill, and click to fill again. And if you don't want to fill within some of the lines, just hide that column by pressing the Table Visibility button here to the left of the column header. So if I just hide all of the line columns, you can see exactly what we've filled in this column. And now if I hide the fill column and add another one, and again, that's at the bottom here. So now if I choose to show just some of the line columns, and then in the fill column, add a new colour, and then fill in the space, you'll notice it's only filled between the lines that I can see. So if I then show the other columns, you'll see that the lines just appear in front of the fills I've already added. So that's it. That's the new fill reference feature coming soon to the next official release. But you can download it now and try it yourself by following the link in the description below. So why not give it a go? And keep an eye out for the other bug fixes and new features on that pull request page and you'll see what's coming your way soon from Tahoma. And that's a guarantee.